All right, without further ado, I would like to introduce our first speaker. I had a chance to meet him back in December uh, when he was speaking with the Abbeville Democrats at their Christmas party. And let me tell you, I was blown away. And then when I called him up and asked him to come all the way out here from Calhoun Falls to speak with us and tell us his story, he said yes, I was even more blown away. And then I started bragging that we've got this man coming in from Calhoun Falls, and they already knew who you were. So your reputation precedes you, sir. So everybody, a round of warm applause for Mr. Tariqa Holland, Mayor of Calhoun Falls. Good morning, good morning. Good morning. One more time, good morning, good morning. Good morning, good morning. Thank you, boss, thank you, thank you. First, I'd like to thank you, Mr. Bill, for allowing me to be here this morning. Um, and everybody, thank you guys for coming out this morning. I know it was cold, and I got my little girl out how she said, Daddy, I'm freezing. It was, it was cold this morning. Um, but I'm Tariqo Holland, Mayor Holland of Calhoun Falls, South Carolina, a big, huge town, a town of opportunities, um, <laughs> which we love. We love so much. And uh, my father I have with me and my beautiful daughter this morning. Um, thank you guys for coming. Actually, my father came from Gainesville, Georgia this morning. So let's give him a round of applause for that. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Um, as many of you guys may not know the size of Calhoun Falls, we are very, 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 very small. We have about 2,000 people. Um, we're, we're, we're very small. We're a huge, one huge community. Um, we're about 30 minutes from Greenwood, South Carolina. And I have a lot of people ask me, Rico, why did you run for office? Rico, what do you plan to do? Rico, the, this is this is bad, that is bad, this is bad, and I heard all the different bad things of why you should not run. And you know why I ran? One reason, that is why. Because I wanted to be the change. I wanted to bring youth engagement back to Calhoun Falls, and if more young people see myself running and win office, that motivates and entice more young people to get involved. And as you see, you look around the room, we need young, more young people involved. And, and, it's, and so, as I think every single day, how can we get more young people involved? How can we move forward with getting young people involved? Before even running for mayor in Calhoun Falls, I was a community activist. I always was involved with different organizations, different church programs, different schools. I was just involved in my community from a little boy, born and raised in Calhoun Falls. So my heart is in Calhoun Falls. I bleed blue and gold each and every day. So a little bit about myself while I'm here. Um, I graduated from Calhoun Falls um, Charter School. I graduated from Southern Wesleyan University with a bachelor's in sports management, minor in business. Um, I grew up um, with my father and my mother making a huge impact on my life. Um, just being a, my brother is Ricky Holland Jr. He have his master's degree here at US, um, uh, UPS accounting executive in Decatur, Georgia. And it just motivated me each and every day to stay on path to do the right thing. Seeing my older brother come up through high school, he was an outstanding athlete. He was an outstanding scholar, always on the dean list throughout college. He graduated from Lander University, actually. And um, so just seeing him doing the right thing and hearing my parents and my family members always guiding him and guiding me, and it just brought me to this moment to do, well, okay, Rico, you can do these things. So. Uh, who am I outside of a mayor? I'm a father, I'm a son, I'm a worshiper of the Lord each and every day. I'm a community activist, and it's just the same thing outside. I know I wear the title of mayor, but I'm a young man who wanna make an impact in my community and in other communities as I can each and every day. Uh, the moment when I won mayor, it was, wow. It, it was amazing feeling, it was like, you did it, Rico. Um, I ran my campaign smooth. I actually did it different than other mayors did it in Calhoun Falls for many years. Um, I had postcards and I went and knocked on every single door um, in Calhoun Falls. I talked five hours at some houses and some houses only 10 minutes. Um, so I went to every door, every business inside of Calhoun Falls. Not many business right now, but we're looking to increase that. Um, not many, but I went to every door in Calhoun Falls. More doors, 
twice. I went to some doors two times, three times if I caught them at home. And I walked, I rode my bike, I, I, I drove my vehicle to each door. And so it, the campaign was worth it. When, when, I declared, when I was declared the winner, I was like, the hard work paid off. It actually paid off. I made eye contact. I went and sat in the living rooms. I sat on the porch. I did everything that I could do to become the next mayor of Calhoun Falls. It took hard work, early mornings, late nights, cold days. Everything that you consider hard work, I put into the campaign in Calhoun Falls. I had huge signs. I had signs all over Calhoun Falls in the business. I had them on my trucks. I had them in people's cars. I was flooding social media. So I said all that to say, actually, when I was in the Civic Center, November the 2nd, at 7.15 or 7.20, when they called my name to be the winner, I was happy. I thought, thank the Lord. I thank my family, all my campaign team. It was time. I knew then the time is now to make a change in Calhoun Falls. And at that moment, I just, I didn't know what to do. I was just over excited. I was happy. It was something that I wanted to do for a very, very, very long time. And the day has came, and here I am today. And since mayor, my short time I've been mayor, we have came together, and we're getting the towns and the streets cleaned up. That was already, I've cleaned up over five different roads that needed to be cleaned up in Calhoun Falls that was bad looking when, before I was mayor. So even within me being in office, I got sweared in on January the, the 2nd. And today is just the 8th. So six days in, some things is already making a change in Calhoun Falls. And I know you probably think, oh, that's a small, that's a small change, but we're working towards the bigger change. It's coming. So just those are some small things that we're working on in Calhoun Falls. And I just want to say today that I stand for my community, but I, I'm willing to help and go beyond my community if ever needed. Speaking engagement, helping clean up, anything that I can do, I would love to be a part of your community to help make a change. But very, very, very important is in different communities, we have to come together. We have to be as one. I ran on Together we will, together we can. I stand on that each and every day in Calhoun Falls and everywhere that I go. We have to make importance on youth engagement. Without the youth being in here, things are just starting to break apart and just start to go down here. We have to dig into our youth. We have to make a change with our youth. We have to reach our youth. Our youth is what's coming up next. So within my community, I have a lot of different youth that look up to me. I have a lot of different youth that's caught, that calls me, that want to be around me. So you know, I feel good about that with me being in the position that I am, that I am in currently, that would motivate a lot of more youth to say, hey, I can do that. I would love to do that. Help me out to do that. What can I do to be something similar, even be a mayor in the next four years? And so. Every day as I wake up and I go to the schools and, and I talk to the youth out on the sidewalks and to the business that we have, they talking to me, they enjoying, they, they understanding what's going on. And they're like, oh, he's not too far from my age, so maybe I can do that exact same thing. I'm like, yes, ma'am, yes, sir, you, you definitely, you can. You know, so those are the things that motivated me to run for mayor. I want to see a change within my community. Um, I was born, like I said, I was born and raised in Calhoun Falls and the time is now that things turn around and change for Calhoun Falls. Um, so with the team that we put it together, with the community help, with the business owner help, and different lawmakers, I believe the time is now for change. Yes, sir. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Mr. Holland. Wonderful. Uh, I'll, uh, I'll use my chair privilege to ask the first question. Uh, you talked about what it was like the moment you realized you won. I'm interested to hear about what was the moment that you realized you wanted to run? Take us back before your first campaign activity and what, what flipped that switch in your mind that says it was your turn? <laughs> Good question. Um, just riding around my community every day, um, seeing the people, hearing the different talks, seeing what's going on, seeing that everything is just at a standstill. No one wanted to put in that extra work. No one wanted to go that extra mile. No one wanted to open up their mouth and talk about the real issues that was in Calhoun Falls and why they couldn't go forward. And I believe that I was the voice for that. So that really eagered me to, 
to run because the time was now. And I felt as if I could get in with the help that surrounded me, things would eventually change. I mean, people have to realize that he defeated an incumbent mayor. And that's tough to do because people are comfortable with incumbents. And, you know, take a chance on a young man who has no uh, elected uh, experience. You know, that, that's a lot to overcome, and he did it. Any other questions for Mayor Holland while we still have him? I know you have to go soon because uh, you have to travel 100 miles back right. to Calhoun Falls Absolutely. for an engagement. Absolutely. Any other questions? Yes, we have one over here. First of all, I want to congratulate you yes. for your new big task you have ahead of you. Thank you, thank you. Uh, how is y'all set up? Is y'all a mayor, councilor, or you a councilor, mayor farm? And how many do you have on council? Right now we are a weak mayor scrum council, and we have four on the city council. Right. Other questions? Uh, since retiring from the voter registration office, I always go to Cal Falls during the election time. And I was filled with joy when he ran. I met him for the first time when he walked into our office meeting. And that's when I saw him, but I knew his daddy forever. But to see all those young people there, I mean, it really excited me. I thought I was running for something. But normally when I go to Count Falls, you see, you know, low lines, older people. But this time, hundreds of young people was there. And I agree with him, we have to engage in the young people. I've always, since I retired, I've always been active in getting people to the polls, young and old. I have many size vehicles. I say, how many you got? I got three kids. I go get my big truck and I fill it up with cookies, potato chips, sodas. I feed them while their parents go vote. I drag them to the polls. Some of the males are hard to get to the polls. So I figured out that in order to get the female, I have to get some men on my team and let them handle the female and I handle the men. Because I live, they flirt with me, yes, come on, come on. I'm an older woman, yeah, come on. But I drag them to the polls and they get in there and they say, Miss Brenda made me come up here. You know, but we got to all work together. This is 2022. This is our year to turn South Carolina blue, and let's work together. Thank you, Ms. Brenda. Well, I think uh, Dad wants a word. Yes, good morning. Yes, I would just like to inject one thing that as um, I was elected official there in Calum Hall, I was a city councilman in the Mayor Pro Tem, um, and I used to take him to the beach with me some years ago. And he was a little kid, and he was like, Daddy, you know what? I'm going to be married one day. And it stuck with him all the way. And he had moved to Gainesville, Georgia with me when he finished college, and he got a job in DJH Department of Juvenile Justice. And he left there, and he went to be a probation officer. And he came to me one day. I got off work. He said, Daddy, you know what? I want to go back to California and do something for my time. That's what I want to do. So I said, hey, I'm with you 100%. And he came back, and he started talking to people and campaigning and now he's the mayor of Calhoun Falls. So he had it in him at all the time. And I am so proud of him. You know, just keep up the good work, keep straight, keep the faith, and you will be successful. Yes, Miss Susie. Just a quick comment. You are to be applauded because you are what our country needs. So thank you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Any plans to run for higher office, sir, now that you've got your full of mayor? Very, very soon. Yes, sir. Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> well, you've got friends here in Greenwood. I assure you of that. Thank you, Mayor Holland, for coming out to spend time with us.